So I'd like to introduce you to one of the latest features in ESD 3.2.0, and that's system status icons. So these are icons that are going to display on all versions of ESD, but what icons are available will also depend on the operating system you're using. For example, if you're using Android, you'll have access to display a cellular icon. Whereas if you're on a PC without a battery, the battery icon may not display. So all of these work directly in concert with the operating system you're using ESD on, and you can turn them on and off through the main menu. So if I go to UI settings, then go to system status settings, you'll see on, on at least on Mac OS, I have the option to turn on my Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, battery status, and battery charge percentage. And this is a Mac laptop, so I have access to battery. Uh, whereas if you opened up Android, you'd have the option to maybe turn on the cellular uh, icon as well. But in this case, if I didn't want to show my battery percentage, but I wanted to still show the battery status, I could turn that off. You could see here that the icons still display, but the percentage gets removed. If you didn't want to show them at all, you could turn all these off and then it removes it. And the other neat thing about this is that these are designed to integrate well with each theme that's built as well. So you can see in this theme, it's uh, it's designed pretty well with like nice line art icons that match the line art used for the iconography for the theme. If I were to go over to something like this other theme here, you could see that the icons change to more of a bitmap style to match the style of this theme as well. So keep that in mind when you're looking for status icons. But this is a new feature within ESDE 3.2.0 and you should see it if you update your version on every device you use. Thank you very much. Another new feature available in ESD 3.2.0 is the ability to display a clock on screen. So you're gonna go open up the main menu, go to UI settings, and then scroll down till you see an option called display clock. It is disabled by default, but when you turn it on and go back to your UI, you'll essentially see a clock display in the UI of the screen. Now themes do need to be updated to display this, so it may not display in all themes yet, but the goal would be for it to display in all themes going forward. Hope that makes sense. Thank you. The next new feature to call out on ESD 3.2.0 is the launch screen duration. Now you have the option to disable it completely so that when you click a game, it immediately launches it. Just to give a refresher, Right now, Bundit sets a default. When you launch a game, you get this little brief uh, launching game screen here. And if you want to change that to disabled, you're going to go into UI settings, scroll down to launch screen duration, and change it to disabled. And now, when you launch a game, it should immediately launch that game without any, uh, any pop-up at all. Uh, hope that made sense. Thanks so much. There's also a set of new systems that have been added to the latest version of ESDE. The first is a system called Vercon32, which is essentially a virtual console. Um, the homepage for Vercon32 is located here, which I'll link below. It's a really great uh, homebrew console uh, built by a really awesome community with some really fun games. Check it out. Once you have it set up, it's really easy to set up and add games as well. Simply just add them to your Vercon32 folder as long as you have the emulator in place, you're good to go. The next system that was added was a specific callout for the Sega Mark III. Um, this essentially formed the basis of the Sega Master System, but now you can launch games directly from the Mark III folder, uh, and it works with all of these emulators over here. Uh, and the last system we've added was support for Sony PlayStation 4 through the Shad PS4 emulator. Um, the user guide goes into all the details about how to set this up, which I'll link below. If you have any questions though, just please let us know. Thanks so much. Another awesome change in the latest version of ESDE for theme creators is the ability to split help system elements into multiple tiles on screen. I'm using this example in this theme called Min UI Menu, where you can see over here, there's a left side, that's a help system there. And on the right side, that's essentially another help system. As a theme creator now, you can create uh, and split the help system into many different elements on screen and structure things more integrated into your designs. Um, so yeah, that's another awesome feature. If you're a theme creator, please come join us on Discord and uh, let us know your feedback. Thank you. 
So that was just a few of the awesome changes in the latest version of ESDE. As you can see on screen here, there's a lot of things that I didn't get a chance to talk about. Uh, I'll link this in the description below. And if you have any questions about any of these things, just let us know. Thank you for using ASDE and uh, take care.